population of Iceland right here in Reykjavik and the surrounding areas. It's only 360,000 people in all of Iceland. And two-thirds of them are right here in Reykjavik. The second largest city, the second largest city is Akareri with 20,000 people. Thermal and high 
country. And there's so much of it that we only use about 10 to 12 percent domestically. The rest of it, the rest of it, the rest of it is used for aluminum smelting. So these uh, large companies ship their aluminum ore from halfway around the globe here to Iceland to use the, uh, well, it's not because it's clean, it's because it's cheap. Instead of uh, continuing north and uh, to the west along Snifel's Nest, if we were to continue inland, or continue east, <coughs> we'd be headed uh, into the highlands and ultimately towards Long Yoko Glacier. And I've spent a lot of time up on the glacier of Long Yoko the long the glacier long is long and yokul j o k u l l is glacier today you will be seeing uh, snifel's yokul on a clear day you can see uh, you can see snifel's yokul from long yokul only been a few days clear enough that i've ever seen that as possible. The reason for the red and orange color uh, that you can see often on the surface. That's also the reason why Mars is red. Because of the same processes and the same rock, the same conditions, and that's the reason why many planetary scientists come here to Iceland to study, better understand similar processes on other planets and moons. Farms grow here in Iceland. Farms grow sheep. That is what they grow. They grow sheep and horses, sometimes cattle too. Uh, very little grows in the ground here in Iceland. We have potatoes or we have rhubarb. Uh, just about, you know, we also have berries that grow naturally in the mountains and on the hills. Just about everything else comes from greenhouses or is exported or rather imported uh, here to Iceland. That has to do with both the, uh, the climate as well as the, uh, the volcanic nature of the soil, which is not so good. 
good for things other than moss, grass, birch, trees, and of course the lupin flowers that were brought here in the 50s uh, because they thought that the lupins could uh, make the land more agarable as they saw this was the case in Alaska where these lupins are from. Those purple flowers that you may have seen early in your trip, if you've been here for over a week or so, they've just about stopped blooming or past the lupin season. But they have uh, very aggressively taken over much of Iceland.
this trip. Let's keep on, uh, keep on looking for good opportunity. If the clouds do clear, we'll, we'll do our best to uh, find a place where we can stop and take some photos too. Wow. 